So what's up guys, John here and I'm in the Titan Lounge and we're here with beautiful Emily and she's rocking the Titan camo sports bra and leggings. But uh, today she's, she's using a Titan fat burning cream and uh, Titan fat burning cream is awesome. It's prescribed so none of the components or some of the components you can't get over the counter, okay? And it's not gonna burn you when you apply it or anything like that. But what does it really do? So this is what it does. It helps tighten the areas that you apply it to. It also helps shrink the fat cells in those areas too as well, which will create a more aesthetically pleasing area all the way around. And you can use this not only on your abs or your stomach, but you can use this on your arms and your legs. A lot of women like to use it behind their legs if they have cellulite or any, any problematic areas on their body. Guys can use this too, and there's a lot of guys that use this, okay? Even in professional bodybuilding, they were using Preparation H. I'm like, why are you guys using Preparation H, right? I mean, come on, this is hemorrhoid cream. You don't want to use that, right? You want to use something that's specifically designed to do what it's supposed to, and that's what the tight fat burning cream will do for you. So let's get Emily to apply this, and it's really simple. The application, it comes out real easy. It's measured. You can apply it, and then you can go on with your day where you can go work out or you can even sleep in it too and you can apply something there so it doesn't get all over your sheets or your bedding so guys let's check out emily and then she can tell you and give you a full testimony on her experience with the titan fat burning cream What's up guys, it's Emily. Um, I just got done using our Titan Fat Burner Cream. A uh, couple little things about it. Super easy applicator. The Toppy Click was so easy to use. Um, they were able to tell me how many clicks for you know the areas I was doing. Um, it soaked in very nicely, nice and creamy. I worked out and I could really feel my skin tightening here with my abs. 10 out of 10 in my books. If you guys have any questions about our Tight Medical Center fat burning cream or any of the other products, uh, give us a call at 727-389-3220. What's up guys, John here, and I'm with my good friend, Skell, baby. And, and very, very talented artist here, Jason Skell. You've seen us before. That's right, you know how we do it, all <laughs> day, every day. But, you know what, I had to act fast on this painting. He just made this masterpiece, and at that point, when he put it up, I'm like, man, I gotta have this one. Two days ago, that's two days fresh. Yeah, right, like boom, like, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. And, I mean, everything that goes into this is ridiculous. I love the gold frame. I was selling the Heath Ledger Joker, man. The I was gonna ask you, yeah, there. why? Don't you did you did you pick up a Joker at my Neiman Marcus show? I did. So wait, this is your second Joker. Yes. You have like five Jordans. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And wait, that, so why 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 Heath Ledger? I, I, I think Heath, Heath Ledger really captured the the character. Of the yeah, Joker. yeah. Dude, we should have did it. We should have did a. Uh, we could have did like a dope like Joker. A Jordan collab. You know, I mean, I, I like, you know, the Neiman Marcus one was really cool because it was Joker and it was holding Batman's mask. Yeah, yeah. And in it the comics, fire. there was actually yeah. a comic where he killed him, he's holding the mask. So it was kind of, you know, it, it's iconic to me. It brings you back to those memories. So I'm going to let his creative juices flow. Yeah. And I know he's just going to keep coming up with these masterpieces because I mean, I've got a lot of paintings from Jason. So, yeah. And you might have seen his work all around town or even around the country and around the world. Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah dude. That's big things. Big things. So that's my good friend. Uh, I'm just happy to have the painting. I'm happy to have his friendship. I love you, bro. Oh, boy, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, sir. So another masterpiece. I'm going to find out where I'm going to hang this bad boy and I'll show you where I put the final touches on and let me know what you think. Hi, my name is David O. Hensley, and I've been a patient and a loyal customer of Titan Medical Center now for over eight years. 
and I could not be more happier to be here today to share you my experience with Titan Medical Center and give you my testimonial. Well, before Titan, I noticed myself being a little tired, more tired than normal. I was lagging in the gym, lagging in the bedroom. I was not feeling up to par nor my, because I'm a very hyper person to begin with. So for me not to have the levels of energy I was used to was becoming concerning to me. So that's why I made a decision to come to Titan Medical Center. And once I made that decision and I got my blood work done, they actually showed me what my body was not producing anymore. And after 40 years old, you know, our body stopped producing natural testosterone, natural energy, libido, everything that we need to survive and have a function full healthy lifestyle so once I decided to make the call to Titan got my labs done it was then they customized the therapy program just for me and I cannot be more happier than I have ever been as soon as I walk in that bedroom I want to feel like the man I am as soon as I get up and start my day I want to feel like I can conquer and challenge the day and that's what Titan Medical Center provided for me the energy and the strength to do so so the Titan therapies I use are first off the Titan Complete, which is my must have daily injectable. It gets me the energy levels that I need. It, feel, it makes me feel like my immune system is even stronger than I've ever before. I use the Hercules Potion. Now the Hercules Potion, I like to do about 20 minutes before my workouts. I do side injections. So like if I'm doing chest and tries, I do 50 I use, 50 in each one, go to the gym and the amount of pump I get is insane. I can actually do Hercules Potion and just go for a jog and I feel like I went to the gym for an hour and trained. The muscle density, the vascularity, the hardness is insane and I love it. Without a doubt, it's one of my therapies I can't do without. Now they also have me on testosterone replacement therapy, which is great, and HCG, and the anti-estrogen blocking pills, which is a must have because you know, wasted testosterone is gonna get converted to estrogen and we don't need to be crying at a commercial. We don't need to be upset, we don't need to be. So having the right amount of hormones balanced in your body, done professionally, you know custom that is so important to maintaining this healthy lifestyle my medical titan provider and service was excellent in fact it was the simplest thing is making a phone call once i made the phone call once i came to the office they, they, they reassured me how easy it would be once i got my labs done then it was smooth sailing from there they go over the top to make sure that you are getting what you need for your body you know the nurse practitioner the doctors here the whole crew the staff they make it comfortable they make it simple they make it easy educational and informative and that's so it's vital I mean you a lot of these companies out there when you go see them they'll tell you what you need or what's this and that they'll try to sell you on some of these things and your body doesn't need that Titan is they're loyal to making sure their customers are taken care of and their body is gives what exactly what it needs Am I happy as a Titan patient? Ugh, I, I'm over the moon happy ecstatic. It's, happiness is like a word right about here. A Titan is up here. And that's how I feel every day. It's like when, when I get asked, am I happy with Titan Medical? Over the moon. I could not be more happier. Thank you again, Titan Medical, for all you've done for me, the people I've sent you, my friends, my clients. I cannot be more happier. Thanks again. Initiating a Titan Medical Center production. Guys and girls, tonight we are at Dom Dalla here in Tampa, Florida at the Cuban Club, put on by our good friends at Pied Piper Productions. I've got my beautiful wife over here, Cherise. What's up, guys? And I've got some of the awesome Titanettes with me out here. I've got Leah, Scarlett, and I've got Jesse in the back actually talking to some potential patients. And if you guys did not get to come out here to this great event tonight, don't worry. The video and the behind the scenes is going to show you everything that's going on, and you guys are just going to love it. So. Make sure you guys stay tuned to new Titan Medical Center events, and uh, we've got some great ones coming to you, so stay tuned, all right? Gonna make you feel so fine when you hear my bass line. My bass line. My bass line. Gonna make you mine when you hear my bass line. My bass line. My, my, my bass line. Thank you so far, and you're not
What's up guys, so we're back. Finishing up a great night here with Dom Dollar at the Cuban Club, Tampa, Florida. Shout out to Mike Piper and Pipe Piper Production, Corey and all the staff that puts this great event together. It was one hell of a night. Beautiful weather, thank God it held up because it was supposed to rain all day long. That would have been terrible because it's been a great night. Right? Outside of that, so all you can do in Florida is pay for the best and hope you get no rain. And you know what? We did that tonight, so it was a super success. We love you guys and hopefully have great events coming up for you in the future. I mean, enjoy this video with my incredibly sexy husband. <laughs> great music, great times. And you know what? With a wife like this, I'm always winning. Let's go. What's up guys? If you're competitive like I am, then you want that performance enhancer. You gotta try out some of Titan Medical Center's therapies. I'm gonna tell you a few of my favorites. The first one is my complete favorite is Hercules Potion. Hercules Potion gives you that competitive edge that you need when you're walking to the gym. A lot of you are probably like myself, walking to the gym sometimes, you don't feel as secure as you want to. With Hercules Potion, you walk up in there with your chest up, ready to rock and roll. You get that huge pump. You put it exactly whatever body parts you're working. So you can put it right at your bicep, tricep. You get a ridiculous pump. Everybody will be watching in the gym. Give you that confidence, make you feel better than good and better than most. Next one of my favorites is the ECA Stack Plus. That's gonna get you going. That gives you that energy. It's also gonna help you with some of that body fat that you wanna lose. This is gonna help you sweat it out, release all them toxins, and get that extra push on that cardio that you've been looking for. With Hercules Potion, ECA Stack, that's gonna get you shredded. Wheat for the summer. One of my favorite therapies is the ab cream. A lot of people ask me about this all the time. What is it? How does it work? How do you do it? I'm gonna show you right now. So I suggest before you go to the gym, what you do is you're gonna take it out of the box, and it's awesome. When you get this at your house, you get your name on it, you can bring it wherever you go. Some people don't feel comfortable if they don't have that prescribed from the doctor. At Titan Medical Center, you get this from licensed physicians. And then you just rub it right on. And then right when you start working out and start sweating, it literally starts shedding off the fat. You want to go to the beach this summer and look super good, you got to get the ab cream. It's going to build your confidence and make you look supreme, better than everybody else. That's what you want, isn't it? I know that's what I want. Get on the Titan Therapies. Don't start yesterday, start now. Not now, but right now. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sherry. And we're back with another Titan Medical movie review just for you. This week, me and my little wife over here, we went and got to see The Covenant. The Covenant is a movie that's directed by one of our favorite directors, at least mine. Oh, I like him. Guy Ritchie. Yeah. And uh, you know, Guy Ritchie's done all kinds of great films with all kinds of great actors. Um, and I've never seen a film done by Guy Ritchie like The Covenant. So with this movie, Jake Hall takes the main acting role uh, and he's the main character in this movie and a translator. And it was a really, really good movie. I thought there was good action. I thought the storyline was good. The development of characters was good. Um, the action parts were really, really good. And it hits kind of home because, you know, they're fighting the Taliban and everything like that. And it was during those times. USA. USA all the way. So yeah, it was, it was definitely a good movie as far as action. Uh, I watched it all the way through. It was really, really good. It had yeah. a great, great point to it too as well and you got to go see it to know the way that i'm talking yeah, about yeah we can't here. give it away but always pay your debts right that was like a like a stickler in there right yeah always pay your debts. yeah like you know loyalty factor you know? yeah don't leave people hanging that's right so. somebody does something good for you you do something good for them i mean i, I actually liked it a lot I, but i again we're gonna say this again i do like lots of action and uh -huh gore and violence violence I, I was trying not to say every episode we we're just start really thinking like what is wrong with this woman <laughs> but no it was really good um i like army stuff you know that's just i've always liked army stuff 
Um, but this was really, really cool, and it, it, it definitely had a really, really good point to the movie. So she even wore a snow camo because she knew she was going to see an army. I movie. was about to get down with that arm. <laughs> I was just trying to blend in. So, yeah, so, you know, let's talk about the star rating. So the star rating for me, I think I'm going to give this, uh, I think I'm going to give it a 4.0. Mm. I don't want to be too gracious with these stars because she's going to bust my child's <laughs> mind. So I'm really thinking it through all the way. Was this like a magnificent movie? Was it a good movie? But no, it was a four out of five stars, so it's pretty good. Like I yeah. said, all the way across the board. Um, you know, it wasn't an end game to me or anything like that. That's totally Oh, goodness, well. yeah. The next one we're going to see is Guardians. Guardians should be good, hopefully. John's going to come out and be like, 10.10! This is the best movie ever! So what's your star rating on this one? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I honestly, Jake Gyllenhaal is like one of my favorite actors, right? So because I like Jake, I would have typically have given if he wasn't playing a role, uh, this would probably have went for like a 3.0. But 3 because Jake was in the movie, it's like a 3.6. Okay. He, yeah. Okay. If he, was, if he wasn't the star, um, yeah. So we got the star rating. <laughs> If, if you're into our movies, action movies, Guy Ritchie films, this is going to be great. Go yep. check it out. Covenant in movie theaters now. And uh, you'll like it. Action packed. Keep your attention. And uh, see what you think about it. Let us know in the comments below if you go see it. And uh, we'll compare notes. Thanks, guys. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And guess what? We're back with another Cupid's Corner. Oh my goodness. That's right. Every week. Every me Sunday. My beautiful wife, Sharice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be coming at you guys with new tricks, tips, and things that will hopefully entice, enhance, and revitalize that relationship of yours. Um, even if you're not in a relationship, you still want to get these tips, tricks, and things that will definitely benefit your future relationship. Yep. So you have a successful one and uh, hopefully live long lives together happy. with your partner. Happy. Happy. Cozy. That'd be good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this week it's actually, uh, we're gonna divert a little bit from that, but it will definitely help a relationship if you listen to me or listen to us. So it's Mother's Day. That's right. Gotta love the mothers out there because without our mothers, we wouldn't be here. Yep. Right? Yep, we held you. You owe us your whole entire soul. So, you know, Majority of people out there have good relationship with their mothers out there. I've only met a, a couple of people, I guess, or there's only a hand few that might not have a good relationship with their mothers, right? And this could be an issue because of something that happened before in the past. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But uh, there's good people out there and there's bad people out there. But the majority, I think, of mothers are good. And you know, you know what? Either way, they gave you life. So you got to love them to some extent, right? Now, mothers, there's two types. There's the mother that gave you birth and maybe you're in a relationship or you're married to the mother of your child, okay? That could be your wife, that could be your girlfriend, some girl, baby mama, whatever it is. <laughs> but she's still a mother. And if she's a mother to your child, you gotta respect her and love her. Even if you don't like her, you know, there are people out there that don't like their baby mamas. Or, There's or most, their children, most of them. <laughs> right? But you at least gotta show them some respect and you gotta show them some love because they brought your treasure into the world. And that's your baby or your child, okay? so. With Mother's Day, you know, there's a lot of different things you guys can do for mothers out there. Now, me, I like to revert back to the old school things of flowers. Maybe flowers. You can't go wrong with flowers. Dinner. You, you really can't go wrong and with dinner. flowers. dinner. Like, right? it's usually brunch or something, you know? Yeah, you know, and, uh, and sharing the time with the mother. So, if you have, you know, your wife and then you have your mother's, her mother and your mother, you want to take them all together, that's, that's a really good way to do it. So, here is about that. Uh-oh. 
Right. She don't want her life so, taken from No, her it's not life. even that, actually. So I just, and we won't even name names or we won't <laughs> pick, we won't even pick out mothers that, you know, might act this way. Uh-oh. However, Uh-oh. you know, what, what really is the true debate, right? So the true debate, does it come down to, right? Let's uh-huh. just say uh, there's a bunch of mothers, right? Because right. John has a mom. Yeah. I have a mom. Yeah. You know, um, now I'm a mom, right? right? So, you know, you have to think like, okay, well, what if, you know, I want to do something with just Peter and John mm-hmm. and it's just me, right? And, you know, is this where you just, you know, send some flowers to your mom and, you know, be like, happy Mother's Day? Is this where, you know, you just call your mom, be like, happy Mother's Day? Because now you're a mother, so technically now it's your Mother's Day. Now, you still still want to say happy Mother's Day to your mom, but is it really, when once you become a mom, right, here's the question. Once you become a mother of the child, right, is it really their Mother's Day at that point, right? Because you still, it's their, their moms, I get it, right? Let's not, I'm going to. still your mom, right? However, I mean, this this does not call always call for a mother gathering, you know, for all the mothers to come around and all the mothers get presents, you know, because now you're a mom. And the reason I bring this up, again, I won't bring any, you know, names into it, but, you know, I've had a situation where, you know, a friend, <laughs> friend, um, a friend of mine, you know, they both have moms, you know, a husband, wife, and now she's a mom and she wants to do what she wants to do with the kid on Mother's Day. And it is what it is. And of course, the other one of the moms of the you know husband, wife is now mad because they're not doing something with them for Mother's Day. So I feel like there's a fine line between that. Right. Because then once you become a mother, Mother's Day is for you because you're a mom. Right. Because I mean. I, what do you think? I think in a, in a perfect world, you know, you can get everybody together for Mother's Day and you guys can celebrate together. Um, I think that, you know, yes, you can set aside that time for you and your inner family per se, right? That core family, you, your your husband or, you know, partner and then your child and you have that time, right? But then you set aside some other time where you guys can all get together, if that's possible. Like you guys are all in the same state and location. Yeah, that's you guys always fun too, right? Like that. But the, I, listen, if, if you're a mom out there, right? Because now I'm thinking, oh shoot. I'm like, so I'm a mom now. And then I'm like, when Peter has a baby with somebody, then she's going to want her Mother's Day. And I'm going to be like, excuse me, I'm your mom too. So yeah, I'm not being left out. And then what if she's like, well, it's my Mother's Day. Like we're going out to dinner, have a nice one. Here's some balloons. I'm like, I'd be sad, you know? That's, so, I mean, I feel like, uh, kind of but I'm trying to, but I still want to respect, you should still respect the the wife, what they want to do. But that's right? what I'm saying. I mean, you know, I mean. I feel, this has been a fine line for years. You can set some side of time for both, I think. I, I literally, I I've, think. I've heard this scenario so many times, it's not even funny. Because, let's get, I mean, listen, Fox is the exact same thing, right? I'm a father. But my dad's my father, right? And, and we usually take him out. I yeah. Want, yeah, I mean, I, listen, I, I think women take this a little bit more serious than guys do, right? To a certain extent, this is my day. And it, you know, this is for all the mothers out there, right? It's not just one single mother. <laughs> exactly. It's for all the mothers. Yeah, listen to, enjoy. to John. Listen to John. So I think that you know, I think that you know, if if you can't, you get along with your mother-in-law or your mother. You know, maybe set a little bit, to, like go out for a bunch for like a half an hour, forty-five minutes. But the rest of the day is yours. Like you don't have plans. You know, maybe spend a little bit of time because think about it, right? The whole point is to spend time with your kid on Mother's Day, right? Well, yeah, but you're their kid. Right. You see what I'm right. saying? Right. There, there, there's a circle of there, life. There's definitely a circle of the life. Circle there. of life. And uh, the generations are like there. Lion so King. you know, think about what your mom, right? You're, you're, you think about your mom, and your mom's like, you know, on Mother's Day. Then what does she have for Mother's Day? Because both of her kids have Children, wives, right. and, and they're both mothers, right. right? So does that mean that she gets just just she's out now? I know, right? And that's not cool. This has been happening for a while, though. Cool. Now listen, you don't even have you, to take your mother out or get them together. You can get them something. But if you, yes, you establish like, listen, Happy Mother's Day. I want to get you some really nice roses. And mom. I love you. I call you. Thank I you talk for my to life. you. I love you. Right? That could that could definitely be good, good enough. Um, but if you really want to make their day, dude, you, you take them out. You see them. And, the only reason I say this now is because as we get older, especially now, um, you know, time is valuable. And you don't know how long Tomorrow's people are going to be around. Promise. It's not. 
It's not. And, you know, people just don't wake up the next day sometimes or something happens out there. So you really never know, you know, is that going to be the last Miller's Day that you're going to spend with them? And that's really how you should treat that. You know, life is so precious. Uh, and at that point, you know, your mom's your mom, dude. You know, are you going to be really sad when she's gone? Mm -hmm. You better take the time to spend it with her now while she's here. And you can love her and talk to her, even if you are a mom. Right, because that experience is what's going to mold you to a certain extent. Well, the of memories. How you're gonna be a mom, right? Yeah, yeah, the memories. You know, you can collect the memories too. So I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. I think yeah. it's a good thing. Now, there are people out there that do not get along with their mother-in-laws or maybe even their moms <laughs> anymore. So, you know, you have to work story, through yeah. that different story. situation or Send scenario. The flowers. There's so many flower companies, guys. But what I would say about that is even if you don't like your mother-in-law or your mother per se for some reason shape or form make make the extension out there send you know extend the olive tree uh, per se be the better bigger and better person and send them something mm -hmm. send them something at that point what are they going to say oh i can't believe this person she got this i hate this one. Or at least you did it right you can look yourself in the mirror and be like listen i'm a good person i did what i was supposed to do and that's it you can sleep well at night, look yourself in the mirror, and you don't got to be a crab ass. Okay? <laughs> Listen, all, the whole to. point is to make sure that your mother knows that you appreciate your mother. That's right. That's so, what it comes down to. That's right. So It's not all about, you know, whatever. And if you want to do something on your Mother's Day, and after that, you talk to your mother, it is what it is. And if she don't respect that, it is I'll be like, happy Mother's Day, Mom. I'm going to call his mom, happy Mother's Day. And then guess what? I'm going to be like, John, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. That is my gift for Mother's Day. I'm going to bed. I'm going to take my blanket and put it right over my head. <laughs> <laughs> easy enough, right? That's Isn't an that easy an easy one? Day. Man, that's the cheapest Mother's Day you've got. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, be original on Mother's Day, too, if you can. You know, uh, Do something special for your mom and for the mother of your child, too, as well. Whether you like them or don't like them, you should definitely extend that courtesy out to them. Show them some love and show them appreciation for bringing either you in the world or your baby or child in the world too as well. Because like I said, that's your biggest treasure. Two of your biggest treasures, your life and their life. Yep. That's a big thing. Big that, ones. You know, it takes a lot, man. Nine months. Ugh. I won't Nine that. months. So you just owe me, Peter. <laughs> you owe me. You owe me the rest of your life. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so when you're married and you have kids too, right? This is the mother, my mother's day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, guys, so been a great show with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy Mother's Day out there. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. You guys do deserve it. Celebrate, that. enjoy yourself. Uh, you know, without you guys, life would not be here as we speak. Yep. So, lots of love to you guys. Make sure you guys are watching Cupid's Corner every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. And if you don't get to watch it live, make sure you DVR it. And if you miss that too, don't worry. Just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and you can see this show and all the other great shows of Cupid's Corner with all our great information that we give you guys week in and week out. So we'll see you guys next week at 11 a.m. I'll see you then.